Alvin or Semi's <laughs> match? Alvin's going in Here hot. Yeah, Genesis 5. <laughs> Tacos also going in hot. Fukuru. Tacos always Yushka, going they're, in hot. They're a little less hot. That's going to be an automatic disadvantage pre-match. <laughs> we like, need to give them a scare to help them get that adrenaline up. I don't... I think I think they'll be fine. I think they'll. Be I fine. think they do better also with their adrenaline down. We'll see how Alvin does though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a near death experience. <laughs> comeback from the dead and the game. Uh, we'll see if they need a comeback because this this is one set that I would expect to be very close. You know, actually, if uh, that accident was supposed to be worse, it would be a very good setup for uh, you know the movie and the stage final destination. You know, they we're coming um. for you, Alvin. <laughs> You averted us once. I will take you down this time. It's like, personally speaking, I would be perfectly content not to see Final Destination. <laughs> I do like my platforms. Well, you know what? You know, we'll see uh, what Destiny foretells. You've seen that movie, right? No. Oh, do you, you know what it's about? It's about some people who are supposed to die. Yeah, on a plane crash, and then when they I mean, get off it, well, they they don't do it because they had a vision that prevented them from going. Like, it's like, whatever. I, I I frankly do not care about the Final Destination movies. And then you like, don't right care about the Final Destination stage either. Yeah. What I care about is top eight here at Genesis Five, because this is a match that I would expect to be very tight. Yeah. This is gonna be great. Because we, 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 have, uh, we have the team from Japan, Fukuro and, and Kiyoshi, whom we both know as, as being top tier pl tip players in the world in singles. Oh, absolutely. They've, they've worked up their doubles game, and we've seen them playing a good doubles game. And we have Alvin and Tacos. Tacos, well known to, to be one of the best teams players in the world. Yes. Alvin, who's not as well known as being a great teams player, but whom we have seen play a great team's game so far this tournament, especially with Tacos backing him up. If I had to pick, I would give Tacos and Alvin the edge because of Tacos. And we see ta Tacos and Alvin in green, we see Kyoshi and Fukuro in red. Okay. So, uh, Claude Rat. Yeah, Tacos is the lighter um, one who just had that great uh, edge guard. Wow. Yeah, an already green team is up in stock. Yeah, green team. Um, Team Spanish speaking. Right. Already with a nice lead to help this. Oh, wow! Oh, and Alvin! Oh, Alvin! Going, going all the way. Okay, up. up oh, and they both hit with their down B. I would have uh, liked a second down B from Alvin, but I actually really like how they just keep passing back yeah. and forth. Oh you, my god, you can this see is how, Yeah, you can see how Green Team is just totally controlling the, the, the space on the stage. Yeah, this is insane. Yeah. Already, like, less than a minute into the match. It's like, this this is what Kiyoshi, uh, Kiyoshi and Fukuro did to, to, to Cobra and Karakuropi. Yeah. They just, they're, they're just not letting them play. No, they're just getting ahead and taking it all the way. Okay, I good save. Yeah, that was a really great save coming in from Tacos. Oh, uh, you'll have to explain that one to me, because it seems sort of weird to me that you would be hitting him away from the stage. Because um, the quick attack wasn't going to make it okay. back, so giving him another chance to zip zap allowed um, Alvin to get to the ledge there. Okay. Yeah, Pikachu's recovery is so big that just because you're getting hit from the stage doesn't mean that you're dead. Right. Um, all that matters is <laughs> can your quick attack make it. So seven stocks to four. Wow. Tacos is the MVP at the moment. Okay, he's got the wrong direction with that back air. But he's just really good working on the ledge, on the stage, and getting those off-stage saves. Yeah, and they're just... They're just forcing... Yeah, they're just forcing Red Team to approach, and they're just walking into the trap. Tacos hasn't lost a, a single stock yet. Just think about that. And Alvin, yeah, two <laughs> stocks to seven. Team Japan are on one stock each, and yeah. Tacos has lost Holding no stock. Holding stock at 120%. Oh, so close. That nearly... <laughs> he almost grabbed the ledge there. Okay, yeah. And that, a good detail. Great weight by Tacos. He died, and he went on the platform, and he stayed on the platform until Alvin came back. Keep his invincibility yeah. until, you know, they can do, use it together. It's smart. Yeah. And it's small awarenesses like that that keeps them... I guess, like, you lost his stock, but don't forget, you still get a small advantage. Oh, wow. And Alvin still got that down B. Wow. Yeah, and, and right there, th that that is one of the only ways you can edgeguard Pikachu with two characters. They, they, had wow. one, they had one high and one low. 
That was okay, an amazing yeah, combo so I, as well. I said this game was going to be tight. It yeah. seemed like I may have been mistaken. You, you might have been. I think you might have um, I said underestimated that, the strength of Tacos yeah, and Alvin. I said that Tacos might be might be the edge in this matchup. And I, I, I think maybe I was onto something. You were definitely onto something. What you weren't onto is just how much of a difference maker Tacos is. Yeah, I mean that said, Alvin was no nice. was yeah, was not dead weight. So now we're seeing Fukuru's main coming out, the Kirby. Alright, yeah, and and uh like in this matchup, I personally like Pika Kirby better than Pika Pika. Yeah, I mean, but if you're really strong with it, I mean, I don't know, I'm really liking Takos Alvin as the Pika Pika, though. It's definitely working out for them. They are making it work. It's, it's really just a textbook double red. Yeah, that said, red, red Team is making some inroads. They're, they're establishing some presence. They're managing to keep Green Team somewhat separated. Kyushka's um, been really playing this game very well. He's uh, just kind of like kept the green team separated, allow them to get that up. Like, just right, just get them separated and keep yeah. them separated. And he's been, he's been playing a very heavy, a very aerial heavy game. He's been controlling the, the air, which is probably one of the big differences because they're not able to get in. What? What was that? I've never seen he, this deck. They thundered the forward throw all the way up. That was amazing. Like, free off the top. You know what that is? That is team attack off tech. That is tech. team attack off tech right there. But they That's made it work with team attack on. That was such micro spacing in order to pull that off. That, that that was incredible. That is the clip of the day right there. Easily. My god. Oh, man. I'm really happy. Like, yeah, Team Japan doesn't get to play much uh, doubles, I guess. But when they do, sparks fly. At least when Fukuro and Kiyosuke do. Yes, yes, this Team Japan. Yeah, because these these are definitely a couple of Japan's best players, and they are really strutting their stuff here. Yeah, it's, it's just so fortunate that we can have yeah, so uh, this is, some amazing doubles from Team This Japan. is definitely a turnaround in Game 2. Yeah. I, I think that the character switch really made a difference. I think that they they have a, like they have some adaptation. They're, they're starting to figure out how the Tacos Alvin team is working. Yeah, they found their comfort zone. Yeah, At least in this game. And they're definitely managing to open them up. Oh, just missed up there. Yeah, this lead is just, they're pulling even more. Yeah, they're, they're starting to pull away. Yeah, they really are. Yeah, they haven't managed to clinch either of these two ripe stocks. And that'll definitely be a Green Team really wants to close team. the stock. Uh, out though. Yeah, so at at this point, it, it still can go either way. Because it's like, uh, Tacos and Alvin, it's not like they don't know how to adapt themselves. Yeah. It's true, but at that at those high percents, it just takes one trade for you know them to lose that stock. Right. It's really hard in this match. Yeah, and you can see them playing hurts. very conservative. They, they are. They know that they don't want to lose that stock. It's combo from Fukuro. Yeah, there's a uh, there's tacos. Er, yeah, there's no there was Alvin stuck on the ledge, and there the double edge guard wasn't doing him any favors because they they uh, couldn't have both. That was really great for Alvin to close that stock out. Unfortunately, he still lost the stock. Yeah, so the the count is even, and if they can clinch this on Kukuro, they have to. Then yeah, that's going to be that is going to be the key to winning this match. I I think that if they they're not if. Red Team loses a stock before Fukuro loses this stock. I think that's it. If Green Team loses their stock before Fukuro, yeah. That's what I meant. And it's very possible that it just happened. Yeah, yeah. So now, now Alvin has to go it alone. And it's looking pretty dangerous. Yeah, it is. Has to play super conservatively. But... Yeah. Oh, it's tough. Oh, and that'll do it. Yeah, but, but still, like I, my, that setup. It, yeah, the, I don't even necessarily agree with that one. I would have liked the up smash and then beat up the Pikachu. So that you know, Kirby that, can't fall down. That's what I was anticipating. Yeah. I was very surprised that he went for such a hard committal as the down B when he has like a teammate staring him down in the face that he knows is there. If for anything, a the fact that Fukuru would be at that high percent is better, so it allows him to make the one v two. You know. Beat up the Pikachu. Yeah. Beat up Kyushka, and then eventually, then get one, you know, chip damage, take out Fukuru, and then deal with Fukuru's fresh stock. Exactly. You have to have a bit more of a game plan. Like you can't just yeah, do the things that you feel like logically would work in singles. Yeah. Well, that that might have been. That seems like a sort of nervy play to me. Yeah. It would have worked if Takas was around. 
uh, because it would have, uh, you know, just put uh, a little, little, a little less pressure. On that, him. that is definitely true. Um, but like at, at that point, he knew Tacos wasn't there. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, yeah, now, now Tacos is uh, is Kirby too. I like this. Yeah. Uh, so so Red Team made the adaptation, and now Green Team's trying an adaptation of their of their own. And one one thing I do want to say is that that's one thing that Japanese players of all fighting Ooh. games. Yeah, that was extraordinary awareness by Tacos to know to throw that back air out. That was a high-level team combo right there. Yeah, I mean, these guys are just full of them. Their awareness of knowing, you know, the trajectories after certain moves allows them to really just rack up the damage. And stage position, for that matter. Uh -huh. and, but, like, that's the sort of chemistry that Tacos brings to the table. Yeah. No matter who he's teaming oh. with, he knows to do things like that. And then Alvin's just a good enough player to be able to pick it up as well. Nice. Yeah, no thunder from Kirby. <laughs> I, I also don't think they want the reverse back here. Oh, that just smart fight. That's a small thing that uh, Kyushka did is when he got the throw, and you know they're suffering exactly. He didn't throw right away. He just allowed his teammates to keep up the pressure, keep right. up the percent, the stage position, and close up the stock. And honestly, the the matchup that's really yeah, varying right. green team right now is Takas versus Kyush uh, versus Fukuru. Uh, I I think that that's a pretty accurate analysis because yeah. like in, in this in this composition, a lot of your kills typically come from Kirby, uh -huh. and it's the Kirby that that's on top of the other one that's going to be getting the kills. Exactly, all of um, ooh, the Tucker down stuck. smash. That was really smart. Yeah, no no save attempt there. Probably decent uh, idea. Oh, not, not okay, save, closed it out. Option. Still had to trade um, Pikachu. Yeah, so you have a difference of one stock, Tacos at a highish percent. This is really going to be up on Tacos to hold onto this stock. Yeah, but the thing is... And protect his teammate. It, you have to do exact, both. It's and, really hard to do both. And that's the trade-off. He's, he's got to walk a very tight rope. Because, like, exactly, he, he can't afford to die, but he can't afford to distance himself from the action either. Yeah, it's the real um, catch-22. Yeah, it's really tough. Yeah, so wow, red team. This red team has just turned their game around. Well, since Fukuru was able to go Kirby, I mean, he closed out two of the stocks on. Uh, yeah, I don't. Tacos, I, I don't think edge it's guarding. It's just yeah, this, the character switch had a lot to do with it, but I don't think it's only that. I think that, that they figured out Tacos and Alvin. I I, fig I feel like they figured out the team. That's possible too. But once you figure it out, you, you still need to execute the game plan. I'm saying Fukuru's Kirby is doing a really good job at picking them apart better than his Pikachu could have. Great save! Yeah, Amazing save for Fukuru with that pair. Because he also understands how important Fukuru is to this gameplay. Wow! The, the slow get-up attack from Fukuro worked. <laughs> and you, you know, least expect it. And, and now he's still alive at 117%, four stocks against two. Yeah, and, and Fukuro has really managed to tank in a way that they haven't allowed Tacos to. Ooh, nice from Tacos to send um, Yushka farther off. This is a good double edge guard. It's just really hard to close it out. And unfortunately, uh, Alvin missed the edge guard. But that'll do. Oh, now that is critical. That's All of a sudden, the stock counts are even. Yeah, that was really good from Green Team. Yeah, I, and Fukuro held back there. He stayed on the Angel platform. While Kyoshke went, well, Kyoshke went out, and that is very important because then he was able to go in with invincibility to save. Oh, that Nair was so was like risky enough that it was like a that really good decision. Exactly. Yeah, it was risky enough that they didn't think he was going to do it. Yeah. I'm not sure if I agreed with that soft Nair. I'm not sure if that ended up saving him or killing him. And, and that'll wow. do it. Red team pulling it out, and they pull ahead a game. That was big. Yeah, so one thing I would like to mention is that Japanese players in basically every fighting game mm -hmm. are very well known for adaptation. Yes. That seems to be a national strength of Japan. And th this is something that like that people talk about it, like in games like like Street Fighter and the classical 2D fighters where you have like especially in Japan where you play like one game in, in a in a tournament, you have you have like best of be best of three rounds. It's like you have one round to figure your opponent out. I mean, out. think about it in freaking, uh, in like the Japanese uh, Smash 64. You're the best of one. You have to adapt between the stocks. And uh, it's just a lot of pressure on 
again, the short game as well as the long game. Yeah, so Takos and Alvin went back to double Pika. Yeah, I actually think this was this made a lot of sense. Whenever it was um, Tacos versus Cooper, oh, we wow. lost all the time. The double. I think Tacos uh, Pikachu was one of the real differences in game one. It is definitely the case that he was losing the Kirby Ditto against Fukuro. Every time. I mean, he really got annihilated by Fukuro in that last yeah, game. Yeah, and, and Fukuro's ability to hold the aerial superiority, I think, was was the main key in how Red, uh, Red Team was able to control the game for large swaths of time in game three. So here in game four, I feel like that's we've already seen that that's that one of Green Team's priorities is, is to try to keep Fukuro below them. Yeah. Oh, what was that impact? Big trade. Yeah. Green Team still holding on to a lot of stocks, keeping the stock count even. Yeah, Takas is doing a good job not losing uh, that stock. Oh. Yeah, Fukuro is managing to tank pretty well. Oh, so close. Yeah, Fukuru, his Kirby has really been the difference maker. It's not just a character, but it's what he does with it. Yeah. He's just so smart, such amazing game sense. That, oh yeah, that, that was really like, good. Fukuro has been on the ground more. But he's so good, it doesn't even matter. Tacos and Alvin with a one stock lead, this could be a... Uh, but they need to take it to game five. Yeah, and that said, this this is right right now, this is more or less the game that I was predicting. I was I was predicting that, that the game would be pretty tight, there'd be a lot of back and forth. And I am I am just overjoyed to see that both of these teams have been playing such good teams. This is just such good teams. It's so great to watch. It's like all four of these players have done a very good job of being aware of all four models at once. Of, of knowing exactly when, when to go in on which side of the stage and when to go over and help. Great handoff from Green Team there. They're looking... They'll they'll need to keep up the momentum, though. Yeah, Green Team has gotten a bit of the fire back in there. Yeah, definitely. Double Peak, I think, really suits these guys. I think also Alvin um, does very well with the Pika. I definitely agree you want to keep Alvin on Pika. Yeah, well, for sure. But I'm saying, like, as far as his synergy goes in team, I think he does best in double Pika. I, I could pro yeah, you might have a point there. It, it's just I'm watching their, I, like, I, because I'd he be knows curious. Pikachu so well, he's able to do these handoffs with just extreme efficiency. Whereas with true. Kirby, there were some small drops that could have, you know, played bigger roles in the past two games. I like this neutral coming in with a huge game. <laughs> Just basing those bears on the side flat, making sure he knew exactly where his uh, opponents were going. Wow. <laughs> when the uh, get up attack from ledge does a team combo. Dude. Any, anything oh can be a God. team combo. A absolutely. If it's a hitbox, it can be a team combo. Did you see that, that wait amazing. from Alvin? <laughs> Just waited for the Kirby to commit. And then just coming with that double jump. Yeah, that was so smart. Yeah, and now the shoe's on the other foot. Oh my god. I think that was like a, a, a team zero to death for that last stop. That was crazy. Yeah, and Alvin just threw the thunder from nowhere. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, but Fukuro holding it down. He could do this. Green, yeah. Green team is at a percent where he could do this, but I guess a combo any like that. Player. And those were good jabs just in case he didn't make it. Yeah, and that'll be it. Yeah, that was really smart. We're going to game five. Yeah, so Green this Team has hype. brought it back. And the winner of this will get to winner's finals to play Team May so, so this is for a lot. Yeah, so Green Team ran away with game one. Yeah, absolutely. Then Red Team came back. Gangbusters game two. And, th and then, yeah, exactly. Yeah, then game three was a fairly close game in favor of a Red Team. Game four is a fairly close game in favor. Well, game four, I, green I team pulled away. Yeah, I actually think that that was more of a pull away. Like it wasn't as close as the yeah, stocks. Uh, so, so the momentum is in green team's favor. But <laughs> this, we're not to count out, you know, red team to Japan as far as their ability to adapt. Exactly. The down smash push off there, I think, was the right decision because it sent him at an angle off the platform that he couldn't follow up. Oh wow, that was really smart from Alvin. I didn't think he was able to get a good angle to grab ledge. 
Yeah, meanwhile, Kukuro is holding stage very well, just sort of jumping in the center to be a threat, which is the most important thing to do to control zones and teams, is, is right. the threat of the hitbox. This double edge guard. Ooh, oh, that, that's beat. a bad drop from Alvin. Oh, yeah. And the ballistic hit. <laughs> he hit one dude into another dude. Wow, yeah, that, that is a big momentum shift from Red Team. Alvin closing out that stock against Kiyushka, and that was a great uh, trade-off, okay, but stock still need an edge guard. Still even. Each team has a character that's ripe. So if they can finish Tacos off here, that'll be big for Red But that was such a smart escape from Tacos. Just weaved right in between the two of them yeah, to get man. up to that uh, top five. Tacos lost his first stock, yeah, and now he needs to try to interrupt this edge guard on Alvin. And he, oh, yeah, he does. Not sure what he was trying to do there. Maybe he thought he had a double jump or... Regardless, Fukuro came in and challenged Alvin. Oh man. Yeah, they're playing this neutral much safer. Oh, that was a zoning. Yeah, they, yeah, Fukuro just went high and green team did challenge. So green team down a sock. I don't think Oh, we... yeah, there we go. You can't do that. You could do it in singles, but in doubles that just leads to your death. This is big from green team. Wow, yeah, they, and that's a big momentum shift. They're at a, you know, a mid percent. They're not going to die on a couple stray hits. You need a, a good combo from red team to close this out. Oh, well, that was a good combo. So let's see how the edge guard goes. Yeah, red team's definitely playing this stock quite strong. Oh, but unfortunately, go to this trade. Oh! Oh, I'm not sure. I think that was a good save. It, it got him out of the combo. Exactly, and it was up there as one of the weakest yeah. areas. But then Kiyoshi missed the, the tech. And now red team's up by one stock. Both characters at 83%, which is not a safe percent for either of them. No. Stagger coming down from the platforms. I really like that. A lot of invincibility at once. Uh, oh, yeah, well, but, but the, impor the important thing is that one of your members is invincible for the longest amount of time. Oh, I see. Yeah, and you have an, an invincible mem uh, team teammate. Right, yeah, red team yeah, is getting up there in stocks. Oh, that forward tilt! That forward tilt interrupted both of them from trying to get an edge guard on a Fukuru. Yeah, excellent interference by Kiyoshi. Even stocks. Yeah, but Fukuro sailing away. Oh, okay. Oh, but. This is this is not good Pikachu back row percentage. Oh, and Fukuro with a great stock. Oh! Oh, and Kyoshi and I, is dead because he got interrupted oh with his up beat. That's huge. That was that is a, a game changer. That is, I mean, there was so much that could have happened from that, and totally reversed. It was just yeah. such a big risk. By by the ballistic hit from a grab. Oh my god! Depleted all of uh, Fukuro's resources, and, and that, now that's it. Oh my god! From one from one attempted team. Oh. Yeah, and now Fukuro... He has to do this on his own? And it's not looking good. No. That's it. Wow. Green oh. team comes away with it. Tacos and Alvin, that was a crazy... Yeah, that, that was... Crazy that was, bit of momentum. That was a heart-stopping end to game 